Hey, it's Janes, and in this video we will take a look at progressive web apps. Um, this fir first tutorial will be an uh, introduction to progressive web apps. So we will take a look at what progressive webs are, a few features of progressive web apps, and we will also take a look at two of examples for this technology. So uh, what are progressive web apps? If I quote the Wikipedia definition is that progressive web app can be seen as an evolving hybrid of regular web pages and a mobile application. This new application lifecycle model combines features offered by most modern browsers with benefits of mobile experience. So in my opinion, the progressive web apps are just an progressive enhancement to um, web mobile apps. Uh, and if we take a look at a few features of progressive web apps, the first would be instant loading. Uh, this is done by caching and service worker. So the service worker is a script that runs in a browser independent of your app. And it runs in the response to events like network requests, um, push notifications, uh, connectivity changes, and so on. Um, we have a few uh, um, scenarios for this. Um, the service worker can fetch first from cache and then from the network, or first uh, it tries the network and then fallbacks to the cache, and so on. Uh, so this service worker helps us to deal with offline situations and also to make our um, web, uh, to make our app faster. Uh, the second would be the add to home screen functionality. Uh, this is done via the prompt. So <clears throat> if we navigate to uh, some page, progressive web app, and uh, we are there often, uh, the browser should offer us to add this application, web application to the home screen or the application drawer. So we have quick access to this web app. The third uh, major feature would be push notifications. Um, in that example for progressive web apps, this is done via the web push API. And um, this enables us to re-engage with users um, with uh, notifications even when we are not in the browser. Um, the progressive web app should be fast. Um, Example of this would be 60 FPS scrolling, so the smooth uh, scrolling. Uh, it should be secure. You can use uh, progressive web apps on the HTTPS only. Um, so this uh, makes our communication secure. And um, the progressive app should be responsive. Uh, we are targeting the mobile, so it should be mobile first. Okay, now we will take a look at a few examples of progressive web apps. The first is Emojoy. This app supports web push notifications. We get a prompt like you saw. And this enables us to uh, get the normal notifications in Android. Um, for example, I went now to the PC and I sent it an emoji and I got the, um, the notification. If I click on it, I get back to the app. The second feature uh, of progressive web apps are um, add to home screen. So this is uh, done via prompt or um, by going to the menu and add to home screen. Uh, for example, if I launch this app from home screen, I also get a splash screen. Okay, the second um, progressive web app is the Washington Post. Uh, for example, now I'm online and I browse the articles. Um, just like normal and now I will go offline and all the before loaded content will be still available uh, via the cache um, the service worker will go to the cache and serve us the articles uh, for example here is uh, the text is available or but the image are, uh, images aren't okay now we will take a look at the one tool for measuring the performance of progressive web apps called Lighthouse. 
this is a Chrome um, extension. I installed it and run it on the MOJOY Progressive Web App. And I can see all the sections of uh, Progressive Web Apps, like uh, the manifest, the service worker, if it's uh, installed and working correctly. And also if the page is served via SSL, so HTTPS, um, because the Progressive Web Apps uh, require this. And we have all the checks for Progressive Web Apps. Okay, thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial.